This tutorial is the first in a series of exercises where you can learn about Adobe Premiere Pro CS 5.5. To open the program, click Start, open up all programs, then scroll down to the Adobe Master Collection CS 5.5 folder, click that, And then you're looking for a purple icon, Adobe Premiere Pro. Click that to open the program. When the program loads, you're going to get this screen. If you've already had some Premiere projects that you've been working on, you'll have a list of the most recent half a dozen or so here. But if this is the first time you're using it or you want to create a new project, click the new project icon. Basically ignore it almost everything in the screen except down to the very bottom change the name to something like my first video and click OK. At this screen click OK as well don't change anything. When Premiere Pro opens you're presented with this screen. A quick overview of some of the key elements on the screen. Over here in the top left, this is called the project bin. The project bin will contain all of the video clips and images that you import into your movie. Uh, it's from here that you click and drag those clips and images, sounds, all that kind of thing, into the movie so you can work with them. Underneath here, you can see you've got a series of tabs. The main one here is the effects tab and if we have a look down here we can see that there's different types of video effects or video transitions that you can apply to your movie in between clips, in between images and clips and so on. It's a bit like the um, transitions in PowerPoint. This big area down the bottom, this is called the timeline. Notice that the little tab there says sequence. Sequence in Adobe Premiere Pro is another word for timeline. This is where you're going to spend most of your time constructing the order of different items in your movie, clips, uh, videos, audio, all that kind of thing. Then over to the right hand side here in the small area is a series of toolbars. Then the two panels at the top here, the middle one is a preview window and in another tutorial you'll learn how you can extract either the sound or the video only from a clip, clip that you've imported. And then over here, this is similar to um, programs like iMovie on a Mac or Movie Maker on Windows, this is your preview window, you can actually, or the playback window I should say. Uh, you can play back the movie from beginning to end as you're constructing it. Obviously you've got along the top here as well a standard sort of menu structure, file, edit, project, all that kind of thing. If you find that you're missing any of the windows that I've talked about here, like other Adobe programs, click the window menu and you'll see that here you can turn panels on and off from the window menu. 